How many Earths can fit inside Jupiter? About 1,300 Earths can fit inside Jupiter comfortably, and it's 2.5 more massive than all of the other planets in the solar system combined. It also has the most moons of any other planet in the solar system. Currently, Jupiter has 67 known moons, and the most famous are the Galilean moons first seen by Galileo Galilei in 1610. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The planet is mainly made up of hydrogen and helium, and small traces of other gases like ammonia, ethane, methane, sulfur, and phosphorus. These gases pile up on top of each other, creating layers that reach all the way to its core. Standing on its surface would be impossible. You would continue to descend downward to its core until the pressure of the planet takes over. A day in Jupiter only lasts 9 hours and 55 minutes, making it the shortest day out of all the planets in the solar system. It spins up 45,500 kilometers, which is almost 28 times the speed of Earth. This rapid rotation, accompanied by the planet's composition, makes its beautiful bands of clouds, driven by convection currents that result from the heat generated within the planet. The lighter bands, called zones, are high altitude regions of pressure and lower temperatures. The darker bands, called belts, are lower altitude areas of lower pressure and high temperatures. These multicolored layers cover the entire globe and move either with or against the planet's spin. The Great Red Spot has been around for at least 350 years and spins at 360 kilometers per hour. It is 28,000 kilometers long and 14,000 kilometers wide, three times the width of the Earth's diameter. Jupiter's rings were first discovered in 1979 when its spacecraft Voyager 1 flew by. The innermost ring is called the halo and looks more like a cloud. The main ring is flatter and relatively brighter than the halo, and the gossamer rings, which are pretty transparent and consist of debris from nearby moons. In July 1994, a comet called shoemaker Levy 9 crashed into Jupiter. The planet spins so fast that 21 separate fragments of the comet smashed into Jupiter's atmosphere. NASA was shortly instructed to find asteroids that were at least 459 feet wide, or larger, a threshold considered to pose a threat to Earth. These were called near-Earth asteroids, and as of 2017, 16,209 known near-Earth asteroids have been discovered. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.